Welcome Cancer. Welcome to your reading. This is Renee and welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a look at your next 48 hours. What's going on your next 40 hours. What you can expect. What's coming forward. What is going on. Um, the next 48 hours. Okay. Um, now this is a general reading. So we're going to cover whatever the cards are telling us um, and if this resonates please like and subscribe um, if this doesn't resonate take a look at your other placements okay so let's get into it what do we have for cancer okay we have the six of action so this is similar to the six of wands what a wonderful experience for you your project is a total success bringing awards promotions and other recognition for your efforts well done if someone who can help you offer assistance know that this is that this person is heaven sent and say yes okay i need to read that again because i really messed that up Okay, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success. Bring in awards, promotion, and other recognition for your efforts. Um, well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Okay, so that's like the six of wands. Beautiful energy here. And we also have the Three of Thoughts. The Three of Thoughts is similar to the Three of Swords, okay? So loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel may fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation can has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Okay, Cancer, here's the thing. With the next 48 hours, I feel like your emotions are all over the place. You're feeling like you're being recognized. You feel like, you know, there's some sort of reward coming in for you. But you also feel a, a feeling of lack. A feeling that, you know, you're in doubt of something. There's something going on underneath the skin you know i feel like there's some kind of aching for something more okay but i feel like you know this reward this recognition isn't fulfilling your purpose for some reason maybe maybe you're getting recognition for some something um, maybe a job that you're doing maybe some kind of work that you're doing but i feel like your heart really isn't in it I feel like you, you're you like just going through the motions because it's something to do. It's something that gives you kind of a reason to get out and go someplace, okay? But I feel like, you know, your heart isn't in it. This is not what you were meant to do, and you kind of feel that. You kind of feel that this is not the place that you were set to be in. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, your emotions are all over the place, Cancer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more cards for you. Let's see what's going on in love. Let's see if that is the issue. What's going on in love for Cancer? What's going on in love for Cancer, please? The coffee cup. So you're getting out there. You're meeting new people. You may be going out on dates. You may be hanging out with friends. Um, you may be feeling, you know, savoring your moment or feeling like, you know, you're taking advantage of certain things. But I, I feel like there's still something that you're lacking. You still feel like there's, you know, I'm, I'm having fun going out or I'm doing this or that but there's something missing I feel like you feel like there's something missing there's something that just is not enough wow oh there's something that's not enough let me turn this phone off 
because it's starting to be distracting now. Sorry about that, Cancer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's something going on. Um, I feel like good things are happening to you, Cancer, but I feel like you're really not feeling the good things. You're you're just they're just like rolling off your back. And I feel like it's because you feel like your life can be much further than it is. I feel like there's something lacking within you. You feel like you should be more together with things. Or maybe you feel like you should be married with children by now. Maybe you feel like you should be further into, you know, what you dream of doing. But I feel like there's something that's lacking. There's something that... You are hiding your emotions from, but you know, you're not, you may not actively be pursuing it because you're afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Okay, let's take a look at some feelings here. If this is a person, if this is a relationship that you're in, we're going to get a message. So let's get some cards for Cancer. Hmm. I don't react when people mention you. I'm starting to understand our connection. I left before you could leave me. I feel like that's like the cycle you're going through. That's like the cycle that you're going through, you know, and then I look for you everywhere. So I feel like you kind of fall in love with the situation, but you may be in love with the idea of love, okay? Because I, I feel like, you know, you're looking for that, that certain someone, Cancer, when it comes to love. You're looking for that certain someone, and you feel, as soon as you get into a relationship, you feel it's all good, you feel it's all great, and it's moving forward, and then boom. It seems like the other person loses interest or the other person may see you in a different light than how they started. Okay, so I feel like you're, you're saying, well, I feel like you're going to leave me, so I'm going to leave you first. Okay, but I feel like there's... It, it, it's hard for you to really connect with the person because you're not really showing them your genuine self. You're really not showing them who you really are because you may be keeping things really private. You may not be opening up to the situation like you should, you know. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on here. Huh. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of issues that you may be going through are due to the way that you're seeing things, Cancer. And, you know, I'm not trying to be mean. I, I'm not trying to be unfair in any way. But and I feel like I feel like you really don't give people that much of a chance. You really don't give people that much of a chance to get to know the real you. Because I feel like... In some ways, I feel like you're wearing a mask because maybe you're confused yourself about what exactly you want out of a relationship, what you want out of a career. Because look, we see success and we see heartbreak. You're, there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of back and forth. I mean, you're not feeling fulfilled. You're not feeling like anything feels good even when you have a win it's like you can't really celebrate your win because it just it doesn't feel like a win to you okay so let's get some more messages for cancer my heart glows when i see you near okay and we also have take a leap of faith Someone's very interested in you, but you, I don't, I don't think you see your possibilities, Cancer. You are limitless, okay? You're wearing, just like what I said, you're wearing a mask. 
you're not willing to show someone your true authentic self and we have I've learned my lesson hmm I feel like you want to change you want to change your situation and it says it, it is the time to act now so it's time to change your situation it's time to change your thinking it's time to do something different I'm done you know it's time to do something different look at this oh my gosh for real it's time to start something new be open-minded okay let's get some tarot for cancer let's take a look and see what tarot has to say let's get a message for cancer please message for cancer spirit give me a message for cancer for the greatest good you have the four of pentacles the empress and the ten of cups Okay, so I feel like the only way that you're going to find happiness in this situation, the only way that you're going to work things out is to, you know, stop protecting yourself so much. I feel like you overprotect your feelings, you overprotect your situations because you're not trying, you're not able to show your true and genuine self. You're not able to really speak your truth. If you're hiding behind a mask, if you're trying to be something that you're not, but I feel like I, I feel like you're re really working through confusion. I feel like you're really trying to find where it is that you fit in. And until you find where you fit in, Cancer, you're not going to be truly happy. So I feel like your focus needs to be on yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to put your wants, your needs, your ideas, your dreams, your achievements ahead of anything else at this moment. And I feel like you need to do that inner work to manifest within you what you really want and really decide on what is going to make you happy. That's the only way that things are going to work out because now it's time for you to be open-minded it's time for you to have that something new okay it's time for you to try something different you know don't keep doing that same old thing because you see that same old thing is just bringing confusion it's not really bringing what you want okay so I feel like it's time to really focus on what is going to make you happy. And I feel like you're really going to have to soul search. You're really going to have to gain a new perspective. Really go within and find that spiritual side of yourself. And meditate, contemplate, you know, really dive down deep to figure out exactly what it is that cancer wants. Because I feel like that's the only way that you're going to push through all this confusion, all this unknowingness, okay? So let's get some more messages for cancer. What does cancer need to know? Yeah, finding balance. Find out the answers. Really learn how to communicate. Learn how to have this new beginning this new venture, speak your truth, okay? And I feel like that is what's going to bring you forward because I feel like you definitely want balance. You definitely want some kind of justice, okay? But in order to do that, you have to speak. You have to speak your truth and you have to be totally honest with yourself and others, you know, you, you can't speak half-truths and want something good in return because it just doesn't happen that way. You know, in order to take this inspired action, in order to get this communication, and in order to have this breakthrough, this new beginning, this uh, feeling of having what you need is to move out of your comfort zone. And by moving out of your comfort zone, you are going to... Be more aware of what you want. 
and what you need, Cancer. Okay? Because I feel like a lot of that is a mystery to you at the moment. Because I feel like maybe you haven't really really took the time to really, really be honest about where you see yourself going. Because I feel like, you know, in the back of your mind, you may be kind of procrastinating. Okay, I'm young. I have a lot of time. I can always figure this out later. I can, I always have time to achieve this goal. Or I always have time to go back to school. I always have time to have a family, have kids. It's just not in my cards yet, right? So I, I, I feel like it's time for you to move out of your comfort zone and be totally real in your situation, okay? So I feel like that is what's going to really give you balance, really bring things into a perspective, really start this new, fresh beginning, this renewed hope and faith that you are hoping for. That's the only way to bring it through into reality. And you have the Empress here, so I know that this is what you want to manifest. This is what you, what you want to make real in your life. Okay? So let's get some angel cards for Cancer. Let's get some angel cards. What does Cancer need to know right now? Message for Cancer, please. Okay, we have Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Exactly. Exactly. Have a heart awakening. Okay? And we also have psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at your angel number cancer and see what the angels have in store for you okay let's get an angel number for cancer what does cancer need to know for their greatest good okay 444 protection this is your time to take confidence in all you pursue the divine universe is working through you and protecting you. Time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms. Okay, beautiful. Your affirmation, Cancer. I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me and I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me and I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Okay, I hope this helps you, Cancer. And uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if it doesn't resonate with you, Feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time. Okay? Until your next reading, Cancer, many blessings. Thank you so much for viewing this. And love and light.